Hi, I'm Escoblades from Xbox Game Zone, and welcome to this video preview for Far Cry 3 multiplayer. Ubisoft Massive have been confirmed to be taking the reins on the multiplayer aspect of Far Cry 3, and they look to be putting a heavy focus on the team aspect of online play. Almost everything in this multiplayer focuses on team play. Take for instance the Battle Cry. This is a rallying shout designed to boost a variety of abilities, such as health, accuracy and sprint speed, while in battle. When a battle cry is activated, all teammates within a certain proximity to your character will benefit from it. Reviving fallen teammates is no more class specific affair either. If a player gets shot, they have the ability to cling to life by rapidly pressing the correct button, which in turn slows down their bleed rate. Doing this sends out a communication to nearby team members, indicating the need for help. The long and short of all of this is simple, teamwork reaps rewards, and these come in the form of team support weapons. By performing team actions, you fill up your team support bar to a different level. When a reward level is reached, the player is granted a team support weapon, which can be deployed to benefit the whole team or hurt the enemy team. The first of the three team support weapons available is the Scout, which works similar to a UAV drone that marks out enemy positions on the map. Our scouts are up. The deadly sight gas comes second, which brings about a dose of insanity to your enemies, removes their indicators and hampers their ability to distinguish friend from foe. And the third is the barrel bomb, a devastating air-dropped barrel of gasoline which produces spectacular results. Enemy scouts are in the air! Do you say to that? As part of our hands-on, we got to try out two modes. The first was Domination, which is your standard capture and control affair. Teams fight to control three capture points on the map, with the team score being earned based on the number of capture points held at the time. Ready to scout. I'm reloading. The other mode was a bit more unique. Called Firestorm, it saw each team defending a pair of supply depots each housing a flammable node. The objective of the mode is to successfully ignite the enemy nodes and bring about the firestorm. Once achieved, focus then switches onto a radio which you'll need to control and capture. If the winning team capture the radio, they get rewarded with a plane loaded with gasoline, which when dumped on the blades, ends the game. If the losing team get to the radio first, however, they get a plane with water as a reward. This will douse the flames and reset the match. Yeah? You think you can hurt me? You think that hits? Smash your speed, Are you even Far Cry 3 multiplayer will also feature end of match cinematics, granted to the top players on each team. The best performer on the winning side holds the fate of their counterpart in their hands. Do you punish them, or do you spare their life? The choice is entirely yours. As players level up, they get access to more cinematic sequences. I'm going to live! Far Cry 3 is due for release on September the 7th in the UK for Xbox 360, PS3 and PC. The much asked for map editor has also been confirmed as returning for all platforms. Be sure to check out Xbox Game Zone for my full written preview of Far Cry 3 multiplayer.